Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this tutorial is about um, how to create a seamless alphas. Okay, so with the upcoming version 185, it's possible um, to use a tube with a UV map um, and create such textures. So This is here um, a not val validated tube here and on the tube is only um, a texture. So I use at the moment scaling and so on, but you see uh, in fact uh, this pattern on the, yeah, on the tube. So this is a wireframe. So, and this tutorial is about how to create such um, a repeating pattern. Um, so there's a other tutorial how to use it on the tube so let's start um, <clears throat> I create a new scene and I delete the sphere and we need here um, a plane and here with keep primitive UVs active here so add a plane and rotate it in the front view so then it looks like this okay and this plane here create an instance here in the hierarchy so here and here for the snapping here the distance snapping set the value to one so now use the gizmo and move this um, second plane on the side and select the first one and create another instance so and move this in this direction select the center plane and here when you activate the inspect function you see here there's a uv map a square uv map and yeah okay so now we need a pattern so i use um, yeah i search the internet and uh, for such repeating patterns here so and I pick this image here and I save it um, to the camera roll when it likes to save so sorry I select it again and then I press on it and save to photos and this texture here I use as a color texture on the color slot of the plane so I place it here so and now it's possible to I lock the front view and it's possible now to yeah change the positions here so I scale it a little bit okay Yeah, maybe we want this one. Like this. So and now we have to scale it in this direction a little bit. We only need a single one. So and um, for the For the other position, I use it like this here. Maybe a little bit smaller. So it's correct. So and now we are getting close. So and now we can adjust the point where they fit together maybe here yeah. 
So it's a nice position, I think. And here in the, um, the MISC menu is at the moment, uh, it's grayed out. So we, we have to validate this whole thing. Um, validate. And now it's possible to bake the texture here, the color, bake from itself. So now you see here, we got this pattern here baked on the plane. So it's a little bit blurry. So I use now for this uh, Procreate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I, um, I import now the texture and where do we find it? Uh, so here is the Nomad Sculpt folder and there is a TMP folder. So here you find your texture. And the first one, it's uh, actual pattern. So here we can change the curves. So first we make it um, here complete white and then we adjust the black curve here. So now it's really sharp and yeah, a good, a good alpha texture. So for this, yeah, you can refine it if you like, or you can use better images. So and now I select this one and I invert the whole thing and now I share it and save it as a JPEG file. So fine. And now, so let's test it on the, on the tube. So this only works in version 185. So you have to wait a little bit. So um, you create a path and I don't know what happened here, but um, we only need one tube and we can select now the profile option, open. So here is our tube profile, here is the topology. We can adjust the radius a little bit and maybe, yeah, like this. And now place the texture on this thing here. You use normally um, to create the textures here, the opacity slot. So place the opacity slot here. And now you see something like this. It's not fine. So we have to change the scaling. We need more and the rotation. So, yeah. So this is what you get. And when I turn the wireframe off and the outline, so, okay. And in the next video, I show you how to make this object a 3D object. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.